Welcome to the Freddy Krueger edition of Entrepreneurs in Fuego because it's Friday the 13th. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs one digital footprint at a time. With me, I have Mayman Carlos Solis. ¿Cómo estás, hermano? Hola, tío. How are you? How you doing, man? Primo, hermano. You, primo, hermano. Carlos Solis Productions. <laughs> yes, sir. The real Carlos Solis. You have, you, you, you're like the power media house with a particular emphasis in the Spanish market. Yeah, right, right. Uh, obviously because Show them your picture. Show them. that gives me a, an edge. <laughs> well, this is a picture of <laughs> a book. Actually, it was published by a friend of mine who um, is from Argentina, lives in London. And she called me up and she said, I'm interviewing a few people around the world who are uh, interesting and fun uh, to be featured in this book. And the book is uh, called Everything We Touch. Yes. And it's documenting the life uh, one day and the life off. And so she went to Korea, Japan, Russia, everywhere. Fantastic. She came to Phoenix. And you are in the media yeah. uh, with a particular emphasis, like I said, in the Spanish market. Especially. 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 Um, that makes it easy since that's my first language. But it, 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 it is easy, but it is not easy because the Spanish market is so fragmented, right? I mean, you have Mexican Spanish, and you have South American Spanish, then you have Spanish Spanish from Spain. And so the dialects and the, uh, uh, the idiom uh, and the jingoism from every different place, it's, it's different. It's, yes, really, uh, it's really very different. So how do you sell to a multi-Hispanic audience? Do you focus, say, on um, a particular idiom uh, or... or um, place, say, in, in Mexican Spanish, or do you do more of a generic? What do you do? That's hard. That is a good question, uh, especially since we have uh, the United States being a melting pot. Yes. Like you said, we have people from the Caribbean who speak a little differently. Um, I found out when I went to Puerto Rico, I had to ask them to please slow down because they speak a little faster than I do. Sure. Normally, you know, I... Um, I started as an actor, and so that gave me a little bit of a, I have to watch my speech because it's one thing to be talking to you right here, and then it's another one thing once it's broadcast. And so in the spoken language and the written language, it depends on your market demographic that you're reaching. Uh, so definitely it's gonna be important that you know uh, if it's uh, you know Mexican Spanish sure. or uh, island Spanish or uh, South American or Central American. I was born in Guatemala. Uh, so we have more a generic, Chapino. like Costa Rica, Chapin. 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 Yeah, like generic. Uh, it's very much like Colombia in Costa Rica. We get confused uh, many times. Uh, but in business, we want to use a generic uh, formal Spanish, which pretty much uh, scratches out all about, you know, are you from Ecuador, from Mexico, yeah. or Puerto Rico? It's going to be, a, or a Spaniard, you know, Spanish. We'll yeah. say, oh, you have the lisp. But, you know, in, in written language, you don't see that. So for a business, uh, you definitely want to have a, a formal and generic that everyone uh, from wherever they come from, they will be able to understand. And being in the U.S., we have our own Spanish now, which is the American Spanish. Yeah, it's Spanglish, yeah, as we it's, call it. And, and if you want to go to Spanglish, do I see that uh, when I go to border towns in yep. Texas or um, what is the one in California? San Diego and um, in Tijuana, and Tijuana or, yeah, yeah uh -huh. and then people speak a lot of Spanglish there and mix their words and and it's a good thing because I understand it but you know people that are not familiar they're like what did you say and repeat it please por favor and, and, <laughs> and so it, it, it becomes incredibly challenging uh, for a marketer such as yourself to essentially translate more than translating it becomes more of an interpretation of what yes. the message needs to be right? yes because if, you, if you're trying to just use you google translate oh, yeah. to to do a campaign you're in the wrong path yeah it won't be a hundred percent uh what you need and yep. uh, especially if you're a business then you can make some of those uh, fatal mistakes that it will definitely kill your marketing campaign and and you will waste a lot of your funding doing that that was wrong in the first place and i can show you a lot of campaigns that i've seen from big companies like uh, automakers and 
uh, food, uh, you know, companies that make big mistakes in their labels, and then you're like, oh, sure. you know, this happened is already out on the streets, and you know, you have to pull some of this product out because it's not intended, it's not what it means when they, you know, what they intended to be. Exactly, you and know. I see it all the time, uh, yeah. and, and, and indeed from big companies that y you know that they probably gave it to the secretary who happens to be second or third generation Hispanic to, that might speak a little bit of Spanish to go, hey, translate this yes. for a multi-million dollar campaign. Right. I've seen and those things. Yeah, and it's, it's sad that if that happens, and, and it happens, you know. It, it like, does. And when you it see does. it, then you're like, well, they didn't know about me or the company that actually does this kind of work to help them get a better reach and be more effective in their marketing. Correct. Because that's what you want. And, and now, as we grow older in our population, and the millennials, Hispanic millennials, yes, sir. Um, we're constantly intercambiando entre español, inglés, y estamos hablando inglés en nuestras casas, hablamos inglés en, en lugares de trabajo, and then we switch right back into English. And so your um, campaigns um, take advantage of both languages, right? I mean, it's not just Spanish, Spanish anymore, yes. or not just English, English anymore, right? I mean, you gotta yes. do a little combination maybe? In fact, uh, Latina Magazine, who actually half of it was in Spanish, the other half in English, so you could reach both you know, target markets at once. And that's how I started one of my magazines too in uh, the East Coast, um, in a newspaper. Then I put up a magazine in New York, and that's how I've been growing my media empire, if you want to call it that. Yep. But it's not an empire, it's a small business because I do feel believe that when you target it, to do a better job, uh, concentrate on the details. And it's more, you don't have to hire 100 people to right. do this kind of work. Um, every, every, by the way, every man's home is his castle, so every yes. business uh, person's business is going to be his empire. So you're, yes. you're in the right track. Sure, okay. why not? Thank you. Gracias. No, no, not te preocupes. Um, so he said, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing for, Look, um, as, as an entrepreneur, right? Yes, sir. I mean, you, you chose to be in this career. How, how yes. did you find out? Did somebody tell you you have this talent, what you're doing is great, or did you know within yourself that you had this incredible talent to be able to convey messages that others may have found a little bit awkward to convey to the Hispanic market? How did you find this out? I think uh, everybody's unique, yeah. and uh, somebody, someone saw me uh, as unique, and they say uh, they recruited me to be a presenter for um, video when video was VHS. And then we went <laughs> That's to, way back, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, linear, not digital. And uh, so I, I knew how to learn, I knew how to do all the stuff before digital, uh, linear and, you know, develop your pictures and that. But this dude, uh, a business person, was uh, a video maker and uh, he was doing one for a university in the East Coast and recruiting, uh, the purpose was to recruit more students in the minority yep. uh, Spanish speakers and, and he approached me. I was doing touring for, for me to go to school so I was about to enter uh, to my four-year college university and he said, can you be a presenter in, in this video to recruit other students? and are you gonna do it in Spanish or English? And he wanted me to do it in English, so I had to learn a little bit more English. And, you know, and I thought- and you're like, yeah, was, I can do it, not a problem. My accent is already, <laughs> you know, interesting, different. And when I saw the video again, just a couple years back, put in the VHS, I was like, my accent was so horrible because with time you get better, but I cannot even understand myself watching it again. I was that's like, how did this guy hire me? That's all right. I it, got paid to do that. It just, it just made you the most interesting man in the world at the time. And that's probably... With not those equis, all right. With not those equis. You wish, it, you wish that had been the, the commercial. And so what advice would you give entrepreneurs that want to be in the line of business that you are? You know, marketing media, uh, I think you it have it, so it with, and you have it within you. I think you can learn stuff. But a lot of it's innate too. You can you have it in you how to if you're a social or anti-social, if you're an introvert or an extrovert. Yeah, I'm an I'm extrovert. I can talk to people. I don't know a stranger. And you don't they, strike. Me I as don't an know a stranger. A when people yes. uh, hire me, usually they they say things like, "We like you because you can talk to anybody. You really uh, you're fearless. You flow. You're fearless." And that's what I think was one of my best assets. Not only that I spoke another language, you know. 
Uh, therefore, I also learned German, uh, some French, and some Italian. So you can definitely get more on your uh, circle of business. Sure. And obviously, now that we're reaching out in English and Europe, you have other languages, not just English and not just Spanish. And so, to me, uh, being in this kind of industry, uh, it's, it's in you, uh, and if people want to learn it and they want to go into marketing media, uh, I think those are some of the things they got to have, you know. Uh, be an extrovert, you can be an introvert in the media, definitely. You can't be an introvert and be an, an A little bit. You, you can be, be behind the scenes, definitely. I've seen a lot of people, they're like, oh, we don't like being the camera, we want to be uh, producing the stuff. I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of uh, jobs out there. Yeah, for I, I, this I can tell you that Taylor is behind the camera because she's got no choice, right? but she'd much rather be right here. But sitting. She's got awesome equipment, so I might <laughs> have to be assisting her one of these days. <laughs> The like real it. Carlos Solís, mi hermano, ha sido un placer. Gracias. No hablamos eh, de la película. Pues hablamos un poquito más, ¿sabes lo que vamos a hacer? Este, la próxima. Después, la próxima, este, vamos a hacer algo así, pero the ultimate gift, very quickly, what is the ultimate gift? The ultimate gift, I participated in this movie, uh, in the production of yes. it, uh, doing all the casting, then training the actors who were oh, wow. doing speaking roles for the first time, and I brought it in to mention it that we did a... Uh, as seen in Ecuador in the movie. Oh, so if you, if you uh, look at the ultimate gift, I worked in it, I'm also an actor in it. I'm in the prisoner uh, scene when somebody fires a gun and I'm in there in the scene. You're everything, man. So You're I was doing it, but I, I brought it because I figure you would enjoy it, uh, being that we feature Ecuador as uh, one of the prominent scenes in this movie. And the ultimate gift, and it's got my picture when I was 18 years old. There you <laughs> go, appreciate it. Beautiful. Gracias, primo. Gracias a ti. We're out.